All right, guys, we may have <clears throat> done a thing. So we have a uh, new rooftop tent. I spent the weekend disassembling the back of the truck. So it's basically gonna come up here. It's gonna sit on these pedestals, which is what they're for. I modified them to do other things previously, but uh, this is just to elevate the tent. figure out which way we need to orient it because that looks like looks like it flips this way so I think what we'll do to make it easy for us So you have to open it um, all the way up to get to all of the mounting hardware, all the parts. It's all inside the tent. kind of a uh, no, like, like a toolkit or something it's got slots pockets here that you can put stuff in so we'll see what it what the destruction say it is for now we'll go right here these are definitely the the flexing rods that you hook into the uh, into the corners to hold the uh, rain flies out taut. All kinds of stuff in here. This is this is a shoe bag for sure that hangs on the outside of the tent. This is 
is also some kind of a gear bag. Could be another shoe bag with a pouch inside. Um, also hangs on the outside. They've got the that uh, beaded, whatever you want to call that, I forget what they call that. This slides into a groove. Kind of like all the awnings and stuff do. That looks like it's probably some kind of a gear loft for inside the tent. In fact, I'm probably 100% sure that that's what that is. Yeah, it's another pouch. Another gear pouch. Another shoe bag, I think. That's matching like the other one. any idea what this is. I don't know. Guess we'll find out together. And this is our light. Yes. There's another little little tiny ditty pouch. Probably for the inside. These might be for the inside of the tent. I think that one is for like power stations to hang them, or your watch, or your phone, or whatever. Okay, so it comes with this little multi-function camping lantern. And okay, this is a LED light strip that attaches in there, I'm sure, somehow. It's also got the same style uh, connection point there. See where that goes. Got a long, it's like a long USB. So, you hear talk about, you know, OVS maybe not being, you know, the premier brand, um, name-wise. But I'll tell you, I've all my awnings, uh, my shower enclosure, every one of them is OVS, and I've had no issues. I thought I had an issue, but it didn't. Um, and when I called them to bring it up they were like oh if you think that's the case we'll send you a whole new awning and they sent me a whole new awning and let me keep the other one so uh, customer service uh, is stellar and then today same type of thing this was supposed to be once I read their intent delivery instructions it said it could be a, you know a week or two before I see it and I kind of want to go camping with it this weekend um, and she said just come down here and pick it up at, the, uh, at their yard at their warehouse which is out in uh, Santa Fe Springs, so I had to, and so we got it done. I've got it now, you know. Uh, this will probably be a couple night project here. Um, I don't think I'll get it all done and even up top uh, tonight. So, but that's where we're at. And then yeah, here's our ladder. Uh, telescoping ladder. Buttons are in here somewhere. We'll have to get this attached. So that's a pretty heavy ladder. It looks like, from what I've seen, at least on, you know, the only videos on YouTube on this are pretty darn old. Um, and this equipment looks significantly different um, in this newer line. It's 2023 stuff that different some some different colors you know the just there's some just different stuff that comes with it that I haven't seen anybody else uh, get out yet so there you have that we got everything oh we gotta look at our this is this is all the hardware yeah so yeah tie down straps these are some, I think, bungees for inside. Stretch across. Those are probably the four. These are probably for the ladder. These, I'm pretty sure, are for the, the rails, the bottom rails. I know those are for the rails. These are the uh, the bolts for the, for the mounting situation, which... Let's check something here. 
the holes on this bottom bracket. That's supposed to be like for something that goes around here like this, and that would work. Uh, except that's not how I'm mounting it. Um, these pedestals have holes up here for mounting. And so I was thinking, oh, maybe I could put this down here on the bottom just for some extra strength. But um, the holes don't line up. I really don't need to. So I'll just run the two bolts um, right here. I'll just run those down through. They've got these giant washers, which would be fine. Uh, spread them out as far as we can get them. And that's going to be easy peasy right there. So we got four of these. So if you do mount it this way, there's four. They gave us three uh, stakes, which I think these are for the overhanging, the extended overhang over the ladder. A um, couple of wrenches, even a ratchet wrench, nice. These are the end caps for the rails, and then these are the ladder mounts. Let's get our rails out. Yeah, see, these are different now. This newer, later, greater model. These have all been, um, these have all been chrome on every one I've seen before, and the diamond plate on the bottoms of the tent has been chrome, and now, now it's black, which is a little cleaner, I think, a little nicer. These are for the rail, so these go inside. So what we do, just take these, we'll take three for now. And then we will we will take the nut upside down the way it's going to thread you know so there's the there's the blue thread locker nylon nylon you call it so we'll put it in this way just like that we'll put three of them in there one for each hole here in these holes. So we'll have to peel off the tape. Like the metal shavings falling out. And they drill the hole. Inside, but what we'll do we should be able to reach in right here behind the mattress, which they are, and yes there are more of the blockers but it actually did it kept all the kept all the uh, metal shavings out of there which is kind of nice it's one last thing I got to clean up in there this mattress quality seems like it's a little upgraded too from what I've seen but it's not gonna matter I ordered a Another two inch memory foam mattress to go on top just because me and mattresses and my wife are extremely particular. So, bolt in like that. We never have mosquitoes around here, and they're just bad this year. I don't know where they're coming from. All right. Let's get 
got our bolt there. Here's our nut. Get it kind of in place. Like that. Push that nut forward, our bolt forward. And looks like that. Okay. That's all there is to it. So we went and got the tool. millimeter for those. Alright. So now we need to do these. Flip it over. Of course I didn't push record. Basically I did the exact same thing. It was nice and easy. Uh, peel off the stickers. I was able to actually take the bolt and just feed it right through underneath here. Push through the hole. Just get the nuts started on all three of them and then we were able to take the uh, ratchet tool as well slide it in there and get them on the bolts and zip them up nice and tight so piece of cake it is ready now to make the adjustments on the rack for this to fit on there and then i'm going to try out a little something i saw about how i'm going to get this 140 pounder up there by myself i'll see if it works All right, let's take some measurements between these guys. 26 and a half, roughly. Close. 26. All right, so it's roughly on this board, 18 and three quarters from the edges. Give that a quick snug. quarters Okay, perfect. So I'll put it like this with the rails facing out. And then what we'll do is we'll go lift it here. Do our best to stand it up. Like that.
actually will work out. We're gonna bolts out here. I may have to chase down some flat washers. So we'll put these in there like this, just like that. Like that. And then that slides right in there. Rinse and repeat four times. where they gotta go. Which is gonna be right there. Hopefully those little brackets allow those to fit in the holes. They must. They must. Alright. So those are kind of where they need to be. So let's see. These as close as we can get them. decided to do is we're going to take these bolts out. These are way too long. I have to cut them off. And that's a chore already. So. Right, it's much smaller. It be much easier. Snug these up just a little bit. Alright, so we got all our bolts replaced. We've got them <clears throat> snugged up just enough to uh, allow me to open this because I want to take that uh, measurement from the front to make sure that we'll be able to put the uh, front window out in the the uh, rods, so that's what we'll do right now. do the other side distance we're looking for here want to make sure that no matter how windy it is this isn't going to hit the truck it's not. Right. the tent is basically right out to the back of the truck which would be nice because we're going to use this right here to mount our back awning so let's get let's get our ladder installed while it's here. There we go. These are also gonna get a dab of Loctite on them. Just because I don't want to have to deal with it later. But yeah, way too much. It's bubbles. 
these are quick release clamps down there of course we push the bolt back through as usual Let's see if we can do this jeez Putting the little pull pins to the outside as it looks like it makes sense. This is a little different than what the instructions say. They've, looks like they've modified the attachment here to make it easy to take the ladder off. Well, so far, everything has been uh, 13 millimeter, except for these are the 10 millimeter. Said it's a pretty heavy ladder. That's easy. Flip over as soon as you push them in there. Let's see. These are the tie downs right here that you can uh, use the guy lines that they sent us to tie that down to hold it, which I recommend you probably want to do it every time. Uh, pouch is installed just to see what they're, what they're like. Oops. Does it go in those grooves? This is just some kind of a, I think just some kind of a basic storage bag or maybe, you know what this might be? It might be for like boots because it's big. This is definitely a shoe bag here. So we will put that in that right there. I'm gonna put it there. I can see that right there. Let's get another shoe bag, which I can't imagine we'll need two, but you never know. Maybe I have multiple sets of Crocs that in there slide it over just stays by the ladder just like that just like that lots of cross flow in there it's just hot this time of year still here in california and it's muggy right now Everything is going to go blowing out the other side. Ladder. Swing over the ladder. Yeah. That's pretty much it, except for a little, you know, fine tuning, obviously. So anyway, I hope it was helpful. Uh, you get to see the unboxing, the assembly, the installation. Uh, 
the pitfalls, the, you know, the stuff I'm struggling with. You know, it'll get faster and easier, obviously, the more I do it. But generally speaking, this should give you a pretty good idea of what a rooftop tent um, uh, is like. Um, so far, I think it's going to be super comfortable inside. Um, that I'm excited about. So, anyway, um, we will come back uh, when we're camping, I think. Uh, I don't think we need to do another video other than that. See you guys on the next one.